Hey, what is up everyone? So unless you've been living under a rock, you may have seen that I managed to get featured on Network Chuck's channel. And in this video, I wanna tell you all about that experience, how I met with Network Chuck and how I somehow got featured on this channel. Because here's the reality, if you look at my subscribers, at least at the time of making this video, I have less than 20,000 subscribers and Network Chuck has over 4 million subscribers. So if YouTube is an ocean, I'm not just a small fish, guys. I'm like a freaking minnow swimming around in the ocean that no one has really heard of me. And I somehow got featured on one of the largest channels about IT and cybersecurity. And here is how it happened. So a while ago, about a year ago, I spoke at Simply Cyber. If you've never heard of Simply Cyber, you need to check out the community with Dr. Jerry Osier, also a much larger YouTube channel. He has over 100,000 subscribers, but he hosted a virtual event called Simply CyberCon, and they were accepting speaking proposals. And I submitted a proposal. I was like, hey, I don't want to talk about technical stuff. I would love to talk about mental and emotional health and the importance of therapy. And that's what I ended up doing. I was the second speaker at this event. And during my talk, Network Chuck actually came on in the comment during the live stream and said something along the lines of, wow, this is cool. I need to talk to this guy. And I was like, yo, Network Chuck watch me he knows who i am so i reached out to him a year ago and i couldn't figure out a way to get a hold of him like i i emailed a few different ways and i couldn't figure out a way to talk to him i had jerry reach out and i just wasn't sure the proper way to get a hold of someone at his level because i'm sure he gets thousands of emails all the time from different people who um, want to talk to him so that's what happened but then a little bit later on I created a video called How I Went From a Pastor to a Hacker. And how I went from a pastor to a hacker, I'll drop a link to that video in the description here. But in that video, Chuck commented on it. And here is what he said. But when I released this video three months ago, Chuck, out of all people, commented saying, love this brother, thank you for being authentic. So I was like, yo, this is the second comment from Chuck. There has to be a way that I can reach out to him and that we can at least have a conversation and get to know each other better. And when I saw this comment, I reached out again and his team got back to me. It was, uh, I think their office manager got back to me saying, hey, I'll relay your message to Chuck and didn't think anything of it, didn't think anyone would get back to me. But to my surprise, Chuck actually reached back out to me. He was like, hey, Tyler, we'd love to jump in a call and just, just chat with each other. So we scheduled a one hour call. And in that call, we just had a conversation. You know Chuck, you know his story. He shares about this a little bit, but faith is a huge part of his life. Faith is a big part of my life. So we met for about an hour and we spent probably the majority of the time talking about our faith and our journeys in tech and just like a genuinely nice person. And I know they often say, don't meet your heroes. Some of these bigger names on YouTube, you don't know what they're actually like, but I can tell you, at least from my experience with Chuck, he's a genuinely nice person person and offer me a lot of wisdom just in the field of content creation and life in general. So I had that conversation with him and he was like, hey, we'll keep the door open if we have any collaborations. And I thought that was just him being nice. I didn't think there was any way that Chuck would ever actually feature me on his channel in a video. And a few weeks after that conversation, uh, we did a few collaborations. One is I met with their community manager who had just questions about community stuff and wanted some ideas for me, had a really good conversation with them. So another member, Austin from the Network Chuck team. And then after that, Chuck sent me an email saying, hey, Tyler, I could use your help on a video. And he's like, here's the video. I have 24 websites and I want you to hack them and I need it by Monday. So this is like a Wednesday. He sent me the email. He needed it by Monday. And I was like, dude, send me the, send me the websites. I will like return the video to you tonight. Like I'll get it done ASAP. And he sent me a list of 24 websites without really any additional context. I just had a list of hosts and he said, these are in scope. They're owned by me. Uh, enumerate them. See if you can find any vulnerabilities on them. And I was like, sweet. We'll just go through each one and I'll show you my process when I do like an external network pen test with a bunch of hosts and scope. And so that night I sat down like I'm doing right now. Of course, I wasn't streaming and spent about two hours going through every single website and just spent the two hours of raw video to Chuck. And that's how the video came to be. So his team took like my two hours of hacking and then compressed it down to that little bit at the end of that video and just showed some of the overall process. There's of course a lot that they couldn't include because I sent two hours of live streaming showing the different websites and how I exploited them and enumerated them. But that's how I ended up getting featured on Network Chuck's channel. And we have more collabs planned for the future. So I 
Cannot, of course, share too many of the details. They are under wraps, but this is not the last that you have seen of me and Chuck. There'll be some fun stuff coming up in the future, and I'm super excited for that. But I want to say a huge thank you to the Network Chuck team and to the community for just this opportunity to be featured on his channel. I think in the first day that I was on his channel, which is today, after I think like eight or nine hours, I had a thousand plus new subscribers on my YouTube channel, which is insane. I mean, that's not a big deal for the bigger channels, but guys, my channel is tiny. Once again, I am I am a little minnow in the ocean of YouTube, and the fact that Chuck was willing to feature me on his channel, he also sent me coffee. I should have grabbed the coffee up there, sent me some like free network Chuck coffee from his from his uh, coffee store, so that was cool as well. So thank you to Chuck, thank you to the Network Chuck team, thank you to all of you in the community who have just been um, following me and supporting me through the past two years, back when nobody watched my content, nobody was subscribed to me, to where we're at today. So that is a story of how I was able to partner with Network Chuck and get featured on his channel. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the video. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this process. And hey, if you have a YouTube channel, maybe you have a smaller YouTube channel than me and you think like I'm one of the big YouTube channels, I would love to feature you. I would love to collab with you. So if you want to ever do an interview or you want to host me on your YouTube channel, let me know. We'd love to chat. I don't charge anything for anything I do. So it would be free of charge and would love to have a conversation and do what I can to lift up your platform. So let me know. Reach out to me. I'm a lot easier to get a hold of than the bigger names you can literally just dm me on discord and i actually will respond to your message if you can't find me on discord up your osint skills i use the name tyler ramsby my real name everywhere so you should be able to find me but hey thank you for watching and i will catch you guys in the next one